Hi everyone, we're at the Westlake HEB with the wine manager, Will Bliss, talking all things wine. And I love your name. I think the name Bliss goes so well with what you do. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it's a happy affair. <laughs> Absolutely, it always is here. And, and this is an amazing wine selection. If you haven't been to the Westlake HEB, oh my gosh, it's like Disneyland. <laughs> there are so many different wines, and today we're talking kind of lighter wines, very inexpensive wines, perfect for the weather, right? Yeah, um, uh, you know, springtime's all about, you know, new things and, and trying new things, and, uh, you know, it's it's it, nice porch pounders, inexpensive. Yeah, and, and they work so well with our hot weather. Okay, we're starting out with a really good rosé. Yeah, so uh, Sasha Lachine, um, in case uh, you guys haven't heard about it, uh, this is the essentially second label to Whispering Angel. Um, the, the one of the big rosés on the market um, and this is light clean very very true to style Provence get a little bit of strawberry a little bit of like blood orange in there um, it's just one of those light I, this is one of my go-to rosés and I love it because it's a little less money than the big sister wine right exactly 9.98 uh, it blips on sale for 8.98 every once yeah. in a while um, yeah, one, 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 truly one of our best Provence style yeah, I, I believe it. It's always in my refrigerator, actually year round, because I love rosés exactly. anytime. Right. Um, and rosé is, is great to drink year round, um, but yeah. obviously this is, this is when it shines. This is when the new vintages roll out, so it's, it's pretty exciting. Perfect. Uh, and next. So this is uh, from Pasqua. It's a uh, Passamento style, uh, which basically means that there's a small portion of the Garganega grape, which is... Um, dried for th about three weeks before um, it's it's put into the winemaking process. Um, you hear about it with uh, Valpolicellas and, yeah. and um, uh, Amarone and that kind of stuff, but you rarely hear about it with whites. Um, so it's only about three weeks, whereas Amarone would go for about three months of drying. Um, it, it reduces the weight of the grape by about 20-30%, but it adds a little bit of a little bit of body to it, right? Well, that, and I think the flavor's more concentrated. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So, a lot of, so that nice. weight that comes off the grape is, is usually all just water. Yeah. So it really concentrates some of those flavors. Very nice. What's the price point on that? Uh, $12.98. Um, it also has no. uh, a, a red um, uh, sister as well, um, yeah. which is a similar style, just using gra red grapes instead. That's so. nice. That's fun. Yeah. And then uh, last but not least, uh, Vino Verde, uh, Lago. Ah. So this is... This is kind of like the, the ultimate patio panda, right? Yes, um, absolutely. Inexpensive. Um, it's got that ever so slight sweetness to it. Um, the original style from Portugal, they actually uh, used to age in, or not age, but to stop the fermentation, they would throw the barrels in the sea. So it had like <laughs> the salinity to it. Yeah. And that sort of carries on in the, in the, in the embodiment of this wine now. So yeah. nice. Oh, this, is, this is awesome. These are also low alcohol. So again, right. porch pounder wine is appropriate. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> cheers. Yeah, cheers. <laughs>